I need a change. You've been cold to me too many times. You're wasting money. You're a leaker. So I'm replacing you with a new Navian tankless water heater. No more cold shoulders. No more leaks. Just spa-like comfort and Navian peace of mind. And oh, I want you out today. When you're ready for a change, ask your plumber about Navian or visit tanklessmadesimple.com. Take back your space. Stop storing old electronics you'll never use again. Recycle your computers, monitors, and televisions for free with eCycle Washington. This free program can be used by households, small businesses, public schools, and other organizations across the state. Drop off unwanted TVs, computers, and monitors at over 300 locations in Washington State for free. Please check for the drop-off location nearest you at eCycleWashington.org. That's one word, eCycleWashington.org, and click on the Where Can I Recycle link. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your wages are being garnished. We can stop that now. It's hard enough to pay your bills when things are good, let alone when a big chunk of your take-home pay is gone before you even get your check. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné, and I can stop the garnishment and get the creditors off your back immediately, often the same day as our consultation. Both Chapter 7 and 13 provide bankruptcy relief, but choosing the right chapter is crucial. In a free consultation, we can create a plan to get your finances back under your control. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. We've gotten together with Mary's Place for kicks for kids to make sure the kids in need get a pair of brand new sneakers to call their own. And the cool thing is they get to pick out their own sneakers with the money we raise. Mary's Place takes them out there, gets it done. Because, look, it's getting colder, it's going to get wetter, you know how it's going to be. And these kids need good quality shoes. And all the money raised does go to Mary's Place so they can get these kids their shoes. And we're looking to raise a buttload of money today, BJ. Oh, yeah. What's happening? What's because going today on? today is Kicks for Kids Day, Woo! all day on the rock. You know, we're wrapping up this uh, this this campaign of raising money for them and a great cause at Mary's Place. And we decided today is going to be a day we just want to like kind of get all the Rock Hogs to just step up and donate as much money as possible. We have a, a goal this morning of raising about two thousand dollars. That's our Ooh. goal, which I feel like we can accomplish. Okay, <clears throat> if enough people just you know jump in and help out, and then we're going to challenge the boys in the men's room to top that. Ooh. Oh wow! So Miles, Thrill, Ted, and Mike, they got to step it up. And how so about we Mary's raise, place? So, so we're trying to raise two thousand. Then we're going to have the men's room challenge to go over that. Yes. Whoa. Yeah. That's uh That's some big doings. Mo money. Mo money. Mo money. We want to like help that. out Mary's place. <laughs> All right. So the competition is on. It's it us starts versus, now. It starts now. And you know what? Us versus the men's room. No matter who raises the most, the kids are the real winners. That's right. And hopefully the Denver Broncos lose tonight on the oh. Thursday night football. Oh yes, yeah, upset our friend. No, look, in all seriousness, yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun for us to help raise money for a great cause. And uh, Miles Dillon and the rest of the crew over there, they, they're stepping up, too. And we just want to make today a big day to, 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 to help out kids that just need sneakers and shoes. I like this plan. Mm-hmm. I like it a lot. So help us get to that goal of 2,000 because we don't think the men's room can get to that goal of 2,000 like we can. We well, think we're going to be the winners. Let's just say we end up raising more than 2,000. Maybe it's 5,000. Holy! Man. The more money we raise, the harder of a challenge it is. Okay, I like this plan. Yes. And you know the men's room, they will not give up. So again, this is all for the kids. So let's get even better than 2,000. I like this idea. Kicks for kids, you want to donate? You want to get us at least to two G's today? Do it now. Donate now. K-I-S-W dot com. Let's play Beat Mix. It's time to play the game. Yeah. Let's get cracking on Thursday. Quick question. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm looking around the room. Mm-hmm. Everybody is rocking their cracking gear. And I think about yesterday how I was shamed by you guys, by a certain person on our show to the left of me, for not for wearing cracking gear on a day that's not Thursday. That's right. I do remember that. Yeah. And I noticed oh. that person, uh, I do not see a cracking shirt on him. <laughs> well, I mean, so here's the deal. I'm kind of new-ish to this whole, like, you got to do things on certain days for sport them 
and uh, <laughs> I kind of forgot to wear my shirt again. Again, uh, yeah. yeah. I feel okay. I, I, I feel like you kind of threw me off there, Steve, on what, Wednesday. yesterday? Yeah. You didn't see that as maybe a reminder that tomorrow is cracking down. Oh, I mean, Steve. That's a solid point. He'll never break. He's got an iPhone. There's nothing on there that could help him every I week to remember he, his shirt. Well, There's nothing I mean, called a reminders app. You're right. So I'm not alone. fully without uh, some um, something that shows my fandom for the Kraken. Okay. I drew on my hand. I took a oh blue. Gosh. See, I have a blue uh, highlighter. Oh gosh! And I drew an S on my hand, and then I put a. Uh, I wrote, you know, kind of drew it out there so it looks good with a little sharpie, and I even put a little tentacle in the middle of it. Like, look at that! It's a really good. Uh, no, it's I it's instantly good. regret no. shaming him for. Yeah. So, you, you don't so, have to ever wear a cracking. Beard. I'm it's going to fine. continue to no, keep you. trying to do this. No, Maybe by the 2021-2022 season, yeah. Yeah. I'm working on it. It's a slow process. My favorite part about this is you are the one that. Brought up the Thursday Kraken thing. Yeah, you're the one that made us all do this. This yeah. was his idea. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I don't like the guy. idea. I, there's two days a week during football season now that I've got to wear specific things, and you're not even following the stupid thing that you set up. Which I said, I wish we didn't have to yeah, do I this just, every Thursday. I just painted my hand. Right, I'm going to put it How on my that? balls. Uh, but how's that? All right, cool. Then show those. Wow. See where every you. day, every I'm going to put an ass right down on my boys. Can you reach that low to do that? Well, I'm going to need some help. I'm going to have to go to a manicure or something. They have a they have a boys do, do you have waterproof uh, ink? Because, you know, the toilet water will wash it off. Oh, you're right. I'm going to get it. Then I'm going to have to get a, a permanent marker. I got blue Sharpies. Oh, Here I am dear. all excited. I got now matching shoes to go with the cracking colors. <sighs> okay, you, you, you know what? You, you're the reverse wow. problem. It was, it was actually, an, it was a, it, I bought these shoes a long time ago. And I just never wore them. And then I realized, oh, they kind of have a light blue in them. So I should start wearing shoes. them on my cracking. Okay, nice. so at least they don't, act, they're not exactly cracking shoes. No, they're not. Because you know they're you'll just, be able to buy just, those. They're just Pumas with the blue. Oh, I, oh, those look nice. Yeah, yeah those are, those those are, are cool. fancy. Yeah. See, I'm sure at some point Vans is going to have cracking shoes. I mean, they they have baseball shoes and so I have a pair of, you know, uh, baseball vans that are specific. And then you could wear them on uh, Kraken Thursdays. Oh, yeah, and I would. I yeah. would buy the Kraken van shoes. If they if, if, if they don't already have them, they, they better have a deal with the, NA, the NHL because I will buy them. <laughs> well, uh, let's get to our contestant today. We've got Katie in Spanaway. Katie, are you there? I am here. Good morning. Good, Good morning, morning, Katie. All right, Steve, get out of here. Hey, Katie, are you showing off your Kraken? <laughs> <laughs> uh Sorry, guys. I hate to disappoint you now. Oh, wow, Katie. <laughs> why don't you got food? Why do you get to do what, what you want in life? Think. What's that? I really think they need to need like a crack head T-shirt. I think that'd be cool. Oh yeah, that's the only, that, that's how we'll get you in there. Okay, <laughs> all right. Then. Well, for those playing at home, Katie will have sixty seconds to answer ten questions. Katie, you can pass all you want, but you'll only have three guesses per question. Are you ready? Yes. What was the first Disney animated film based on the life of a real person? Ooh. Real person. Um, Pinocchio. No. Um, wow. Yeah. Robin Williams won a Best Supporting Actor Oscar for what film? Goodwill Hunting? Yes. The company Samsung was founded in what decade? Cool. Decade. Um, fast. The brain is divided into how many lobes? Two. No. Four. Yes. Which Mambo number did Lou Bega sing about 1999? Mambo number five? Yes. What character did Michael J. Fox play in Back to the Future? Oh, God. Oh. Europe is separated from Africa by what sea? Mediterranean. Yes. Botany is the scientific study of what? Plant. Yes, Kirstie Alley was born in January of 1951. How old is she today? Old. <laughs> <laughs> Question. Good answer. That's a good answer. I can No. One, two, three, four, five. Correct. Oh. Yeah, I met my goal. That is. My <laughs> I mean, Woo! while not. Technically wrong. I'm looking. Yeah. I was looking for a specific number, but I do like what you said. There. I actually like that question. If I'm doing the math correctly, well, uh, we'll have to see if you am are. I, am I doing the math correctly? Probably. Okay. Probably. I like that question. All right then. Yeah. Steve, are you ready? Release the cracker. By the way, I would have never got that question, and I would have been so mad at myself. <laughs> uh, but you know, hey, what are you gonna do? What was the first Disney animated film based on the life of a real person? This is a tough one. Uh, Coach Bombay and uh, the Mighty Ducks. Yeah. No. Okay. Oh, crap. A real person? Um, Radio. No. Ooh. Uh, Miracle. No. Yeah. Robin Williams. Her Brooks. <laughs> Robin Williams won a Best Supporting uh, Actor Oscar for what film? 
Ooh, um, um, uh, Last Poet Society. No. Uh, Robin Williams. Uh, uh, Mrs. Doubtfire. No. That's it. Uh, Shakes the Clown. No. Okay. The company Samsung was founded in what decade? 60s. No. 70s. No. 50s. No. Uh, the brain is divided into how many lobes? Two. No. Three. No. Four. Yes. Of course. Which mambo number did Lou Vega sing about in 1999? Five. Yes. yes. What character did Michael J. Fox play in Back to the Future? Uh, Marty McFly. Yes. Marty. Europe, Europe is separated uh, from Africa by which sea? The Caspian. No. The Red. No. Sea of Tranquility. No. And Steve, you do not win. You Woo! lose yeah. five to three. Nice job, Katie. That was a rough one for you. Yeah, it sure was. Oh, I love that. Katie, thank you so much for playing. You gave me a song, girl. Thanks, guys. That was awesome. That is very, very <laughs> awesome. I love Katie. Katie, you call, you call back anytime. And Steve, you take this. Yeah. He didn't, even get to the, he didn't even get to the good question. Nope. Which, yeah. I'll give it to you because yeah, I think you'll like it anyway. Okay. Kirstie Alley was born in January of 1951. How old is she today? 69. Yeah. Nice. nice. So, yeah, if you would have gotten that, you would have gotten that and still lost. Tech Sports, uh, was it Johnny Appleseed for the Disney question? No. Uh, I would uh Wow. That was an animated film. I don't too, know if that it? was Johnny Appleseed a Disney movie. It, uh, I don't even know. If I, that was it was considered. like, yeah, I don't know if it was considered a movie like that. But it was. I thought po- you were going cl- classics. Uh, what would you say on that? I would say Snow White. Mm, she was a real person. Well, it was based on. I thought it was based on like a. It's a fairy tale. Grimm's fairy a, tale. Yeah, it's based oh, on a fairy okay. tale. I was. No, I would go Mulan or trip. that red-haired princess from the Scottish movie. Ariel. Well, no. Mulan was before her, anyways. Oh yeah, yeah I would Pocahontas. say. There you go. Uh, Pocahontas. Uh, I forgot they did Pocahontas before oh, Mulan. Yeah. Shoot. Uh, Robin Williams won his Best Supporting Actor for Goodwill Hunting. Uh, it was the 30s that the company Samsung was uh, The founded. 30s? 30s. Early. Oh, I would never have got the 30s. And then Europe, uh, Katie got this one correct, is uh, separated from Africa by the Mediterranean Sea. Gotcha. So it's something you won't remember. Oh, you know what? It's funny. They call it the Mediterranean. I know the Mediterranean, but I never think of that as a sea. I don't know, but it's got to be something. Yeah, I just yeah. never think about it. I only just call it the Mediterranean. Well, congrats on Katie on beating Steve. Damn it. I mean, no. Thank you, Katie. I just damn it. <laughs> damn it. I, damn it. I can't get things right that I want to get right. Well, there's a cool chat online right now about some of the dumb things that we all believed as kids. And they involve teachers, Teletubbies, and turkeys. I'll tell you all about it at 717 on The Rock. BJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock, 99.9 KISW. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. There's a great online chat on Reddit where a user asked, quote, what's the dumbest thing that you actually believed? And uh, there's some pretty cool replies. And uh, one person said, I really thought teachers lived at school. That's what everybody told me. <laughs> <laughs> what? So they just went, like, bought a bed? Yeah, they're just like, they, they, well, they're always there. And I show up, and that's all. Oh, we're, we're going to the teacher's house where they all live, the, the big teacher area. That's the best commute ever. Yeah. Uh, this one person said, as a kid. Well, did you know there's a school that got turned into an apartment complex here in Washington? Like, it, it's in Queen Anne. Oh, that's cool. It's like a former elementary or high school, and it's now like a full-on, like, condos. Nice. In, in apartments. I thought that was like such a cool idea, but it'd be weird. Like you walk in and you feel like you're going to class. Ooh, yeah, that's awkward. Yeah, I mean, I, unless some people really love their school experience, I don't know why you'd want to go yeah, Queen and, Anne High School. Yeah, like, you, is that it? That and, and it's now condos. Hello. Oh, it's a good looking building, actually. Oh, that looks I mean, fancy. Yeah, yeah. Look at that crap, man. Oh, wow. wow. Oh, yeah. That right. that doesn't remind me of a school at all. Well, no, there's no. It's not like a desk in your bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I would just instead of closets, I'd have lockers. I think yeah. that would be kind of cool. Yeah, you know, no, that looks like that's a good looking building. They did a good job. It's crazy. It's probably like you know, a public school back in the day. It's free to go there. Now, now it costs you like seven hundred thousand for a studio or something like that. <laughs> oh yeah, the Queen Anne. Oh yeah, you're paying big for that joint. It's pretty awesome though. Like yeah. to do that. Oh, Get look at the out. views and everything. Mm-hmm. That's actually a nice place. Okay, all righty. Well, there's another place I can't afford. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for showing me those pictures, Vicky. Of something I'll never be able to have. Thank you. Lovely. Should have had kids. But anyway, um, one person said uh, the thing that uh, they believed that was pretty dumb. Uh, this person said, as a kid, my sister told me that we had an older brother that died. She said he died when playing bowling and his fingers didn't come out of the ball and slid all the way down the alley. And then he turned into a Skittle. 
That's a rather descriptive huh. way. Yeah. No, 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 that's what happens when you die that way. Yeah. Can you just left it with like he died through the bowling alley? It's a great way to say it, though. It's like, you know, I mean, he, you know, his fingers got stuck in the ball and then he turned into a Skittle. So at what point do you finally find out that that's not true? That's, a, you know, this is the, 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 this is the tough thing about being a little kid is that, you know, you're wired to believe the authority figures in your life because why would they, you know what I mean? You just go, well, why would I question you? My brain doesn't say that I should question you. You, right. I love you. You love me. I would, because you go, I would never tell you this kind of ridiculousness. Right. Why would you scam me? You say you love me. And that's what, and that's what happens, man. I mean, people just are scamming those little kids in their life. It's the lukewarm topic of the day. And because of that, you end up believing some really dumb things. And so we want to hear from you. 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. What is the dumbest thing that you actually believed? 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. Your calls and your texts after Nirvana on the rock. DJ and Migs. Mornings on the rock. 99.9 KISW. You can tell when your car battery's dying. But with your water heater, you'll never know until it starts leaking. Before you buy another tank, consider a Navian tankless water heater. No storage tank to heat or leak. Lower energy bills and endless hot water for spa-like comfort. All backed by Navian's strong warranty. If your water heater is over 8 years old, it's time to check out Navian at tanklessmadesimple.com. Wait, don't trash that used or broken computer, monitor, or TV. Do the right thing. Recycle your unwanted or non-working electronics for free. You can recycle computers, monitors, and televisions with eCycle Washington. Households, small businesses, public schools, and other organizations may drop off unwanted TVs, computers, and monitors at over 300 locations in Washington State for free. Find the location nearest you at eCycleWashington.org and click on Where Can I Recycle? That's eCycleWashington.org. 99.9 KISW, the rock of Seattle. So there's this cool online chat on Reddit where a user asks, hey, what's the dumbest thing that you actually believed? And yeah, apparently, you know, especially older brothers and sisters, they like to take advantage of the gullibility of a small, impressionable toddler. And so many people were told stuff when they were little that they were like, well, of course, I guess I got to believe it. And so we're asking you, what is the dumbest thing that you actually believed? Let's go to Daniel in Eatonville. Daniel, you are on the rock. Good morning, gentlemen. How are we all doing today? Oh, Daniel, we're doing all right, buddy. I want, I want some of what, what has he got? Coffee? What do you got? I want some of that. Yes. Okay. Nothing. This is just uh, my own personal awesomeness in the morning. I'm so used to waking up early that I can just force this attitude. I love this personal awesomeness. I still think meth might be, Steve, I think meth might be better for me instead of his personal awesomeness. <laughs> what do you got for us, Daniel? So when I was a kid, I was brought up in a religious household and uh, believed in God and angels and all that wonderfulness. And so I used to believe that whenever whenever it was raining, the shower, the uh, angels were taking showers. You know what? I never heard that one. I was always told thunder was God bowling and lightning and like that. Yeah, I, was yeah. told, I was told that one, but the angels taking showers is a pretty oh, no, cool that, deal. That was my own logic. That's just how I processed things until I actually uh, started going to school and learning about science and stuff like that. So but nobody like, told you that? Kid, you... I'm like, it's raining, so angels are up there. It must be the shower and everything. Oh, you made that up, and so basically you were pranking yourself. Yeah. I don't know if he was pranking himself. He just had a belief. It wasn't like I'm going to play a prank on myself. Well, still, I always assume. I appreciate well, it's true the that they are showering, and then when it snows, that's them just getting rid of all the dandruff out of their heads. Oh, yeah. I heard that too. Oh, I, that. I never heard the dandruff part either. Oh, that's because I just made it up right now, BJ. See, I'm gullible enough. I easily, I, 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 I easily <laughs> could believe that. Why? It's not like that is a dumb thing to think that a kid would be told. That's literally what we would say in grade school, like elementary school. All right. So, did you just make it up, Steve? Or- yes. Oh, and Rev, you were told well, that I mean, in elementary you know, school. Well, we we made it up amongst our own, you know, children friends. So I mean, mine like a child, Steve. Children, it kind of works out. See, I it's interesting. These are things that people believed. I just assumed it because you know you had a rotten brother and sister that maybe because it was me in my life that told you these things. But you guys made some of the stuff up yourselves. Oh no, yeah. Like one of the things oh. I remember. One of the things I remember believing was that nobody could see my eyes. So if I was <laughs> looking at something, what? I they wouldn't notice where I was looking. 
and then I got called out because I was getting yelled at by by uh, somebody for doing something dumb, and I was watching the television, and they're like, "Stop watching TV and listen to me." And I was like, "Wait, you can see my eyes." <laughs> Oh man! Yeah. If you couldn't see my eyes, I would ogle my ass off. I mean that that well, but that'd be a great superpower yeah. that you couldn't see my eyes. Yeah. I'm glad I learned that at, at like uh, six or seven. Yeah, you wouldn't want to be the guy in your <laughs> teens all of a sudden get caught staring at things that yeah. you know what would be very inappropriate to stare at. Well, we're led to believe also like if you try to open up your eyes when you sneeze, that your eyes will literally pop out of your head. I heard that too. Yeah. Oh, I don't think I've heard that one. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a beating. Try it. Yeah. <laughs> no. What if you're right? <laughs> I don't think I'm right. There's no win-win for me. When have you heard in the news that someone opened their eyes while sneezing and their eyes popped out of their head? Well, guess what? It's COVID year. I, I'm not trying yeah, anything. That's a good point. 2020, baby. This point, who knows what's going on. 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. What is the dumbest thing that you actually believed? Lance in Bothell, or as Rev's put on the screen, in Bothell. Hey, welcome from Bothell. Hey, Bothell. Hi. Hey, good morning, guys. How are you? Not too bad, Lance. So uh, did you make this up yourself, or did somebody convince you to believe this dumb thing? This, like the last guy, this was something in my own stupid kid head, I guess. Uh, so I grew up in Nebraska, and we had some friends coming to visit from Colorado, some family friends. And while they were there, one of the kids got sick with bronchitis. And I had no idea what that was, but I was a big football fan, and they were from Colorado, so I thought it was something that only affected Broncos fans. <laughs> <laughs> yes! You know who's got a really bad case of bronchitis is our friend Caesar, who listens to the show as he's about to see his 0-3 Broncos about to become 0-4 tonight on Thursday Night Football. And yep, so, yep. Go oh, Jets. Yeah. Go Jets. There we go. That's it. J-E-T. Severe case of bronchitis. You know what? Caesar is such a great friend of the show, but that mm -hmm. doesn't mean I still don't want to see the Broncos just get destroyed tonight. Yes. Especially by the Jets. Well, I just look forward to the Facebook messages that we'll all be getting. Oh, yeah. It's going to be so good. <laughs> Somebody says, I remember this one, too. My mom used to tell us that if we ate the, the watermelon seeds, that we'd grow a melon in our stomach. I still think of that every time I eat watermelon, and I chuckle. I miss her. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Sarah, as a matter of fact. Uh, yeah, that's exactly mine. Yeah. When I was at a birthday party, I think I was like six or seven, and my best friend's mom said we cannot eat the black seeds. The white one, the white seeds in watermelon are okay, but the black seeds you cannot eat, and if you do, a watermelon will grow in your stomach. And I believe that. Wouldn't totally. that be insane if it did? Yeah. Dude, it would be wild. But like, you know, pregnant women, they like get the pregnant belly and it looks like a melon. So I thought, yeah, okay. So did you think all these women walking around that were pregnant? Yes. Were carrying a watermelon? Some of them, yeah. Like, are you going to pop out that delicious fruit? I know. I want to buy wow. that. Poor Sarah. I mean, in every every wives tale that she's told, she takes personally. I, yes. Like She's like, I will never trust adults again. I believed it forever yeah. and I would tell everyone that was going to happen. And then I realized I was lied That's to. That's the worst when you start telling it to other people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. As oh. if it was real. And then you realize, oh, my gosh. Because I was like, why would this adult lie to me? Right. They know better than me. You know, they're teaching me. Yeah, it's all a lie. See, I kind of had something is a lie. similar about the watermelon thing. But I thought if you ate a lot of watermelon that you would get pregnant. <laughs> why? Because I overheard my mom. I made this in my head. I overheard my mom telling somebody who was pregnant. She's like, oh, when I was pregnant, I ate a lot of watermelon. She oh. had like a watermelon a day because oh, that, that was her craving. That but was I, her, oh, you thought I thought if you eat a lot of watermelon, you'll eat a, you'll make a baby. Look at Vicky. So Vicky's that's just how like, I connected all right, it. All right, well, no watermelon for me. I am going to be babyless until I choose to be. I, I only ate very little watermelon at a time. Oh, man. <laughs> Gosh, I wish I could have uh, thought about that, like, you know, for stuff I didn't like to eat. Like, I don't want to eat these carrots because I'll get pregnant, so I'm not going to eat them, Mom. I'd be pregnant so much if that was the case because <laughs> I love watermelon. <laughs> I, I do. I, I mean, it, whenever there's watermelon in the house, I just scarf it down. It's so good. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Steve, congratulations on the pregnancy. Thank you. Yeah. How about this person says, when I was a kid, my parents told me if you didn't jump off the escalator at the last minute, it would suck you under. I believed this for years, and I still reflex jump at 24 years old. Huh. Isn't that something? Man, it, you know, it's just like, you, you, like, what is this phenomenon that where we are told things and we 100% believe them, whereas, you know, normally today, you, 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 like, and maybe because we're just skeptical, we just don't do it. But I guess it's because these are our authority figures. Why would they lie to us? Oh, yeah. I think kids nowadays just open up their phone and snopes you on everything. Exactly. We just Google everything now. Yeah. Be like, you're wrong. Sorry. <laughs> I like this one. And, man, this is a great one to throw out there, I guess, if you want to get your kids to eat their vegetables, if you have a boy. My dad told my brother and I eating green veggies would make our parts bigger. <laughs> oh. oh wow. You better eat them Brussels sprouts if you want a bigger wow. Brussels sprout. 
I and I wonder what age when you you want that to happen. You know what I mean? I, teen I, I, years. Oh, the teen years. Okay, I would think. Yeah, because I didn't. Right? I don't remember caring about that at all until I was old enough to care about girls. So right at yeah. eight years old, I wasn't like, oh man. Yeah. One day. One day. <laughs> One day. <laughs> eating the celery. Give me those Brussels. Give me those peas. I'm gonna do it. Give me those string beans. Do you think mom was in on this joke? Or is this something that dad just threw out there to get the kids to eat the veggies, but said, do not mention this to your mom? Because I yeah. feel like mom would get a, a little upset with you. <laughs> yeah, and here's, mom the, would get and here's what mom would tell do. Tell kids that their packages will grow <laughs> if they eat green vegetables. And you know what her answer would be, right? She would sit at the table and go, eat your green beans. You don't want to be like your father. Oh. <laughs> That you, that you know that would be the answer from a wise ass mom if she found out dad was saying that wives tale. I'm telling you 100. percent At least in my household, that would have been said That'd by be my the mother. Most awkward dinner ever. Oh yeah, so awkward. And my mother would definitely have said that. Going, oh yeah, no, your father's right. You want to eat those? Uh, and let me just say, uh, spoiler alert: he never ate them when he was then. Uh, spoiler alert. Thank you. And then you're right. Then you're at the table going, wow, that just happened. <laughs> I know my mother wouldn't care. She'd be like, oh, really? You're going to be that stupid in front of our kids? Checkmate. I want to say this about the whole idea, though, man. Uh, it, it is the idea that you can believe something the way you believe it, and uh, you will buy into it. Sometimes people think they're gullible, and Sarah, you've always thought you were kind of a dumb kid for believing this stuff. But in reality, brain science says that you are very, very smart because of the original... They call it the they call it the Santa Claus, the Santa Claus theory about the fact that your brain actually is trained to be very efficient and it will take in all the data and and kids actually are thinking a lot better than we thought they were they were they, they didn't realize that even infants have better brain power than we thought and that your mind is efficient and therefore you will assess information and go all right I'm not going to question this because it is got to be true because everybody believes it. Thank you. That's the first time you ever called me smart. Yeah. Wow. I mean, I, so, I stopped paying attention. <laughs> I missed that part. Yeah. yeah. Well, he just part. called me smart. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. It was under a bunch of mumbo agree? jumbo. Are I you mean, gonna... yeah, you're smart. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Totally smart. Thanks. Thanks. Well, it's like it. if you if you were going to another place, let's say you've never been anywhere before and you go to another place and somebody tells you, everybody tells you this is how it is. And you your mind might go, that makes no sense. You're telling me that a mailman can deliver all the mail. One mailman delivers all the mail to everybody in the whole in the whole state what and the, but, but, if, but if everybody in that whole state told you that's the truth your mind won't question it to be true because the first thing your mind goes is there's no way that everybody would be in on this lie because human beings are never together on anything because you know little kids see parents not getting along they see everybody fighting over everything but everybody agrees on this one thing so your mind goes well it's got to be true I don't bother questioning it because everybody says it's true and little kids do that at a very very young age and, the, and so that's the whole idea with the whole Santa Claus thing is that your mind is very smart. Mm -hmm. And so this is why it's not being gullible. Your mind is actually very intelligent to go, well, why bother questioning it? There's no way everybody would be on board with this, except for that one thing in the world we are all agree in agreement well, we on. We all realize it is the case, because, I mean, that's how Amazon Prime started. Yeah. Oh, is that how Amazon yeah, Prime I mean, started? You're trying to wonder how something get delivered so quickly. It's clear. Yeah. Santa runs Amazon Prime. I had no idea that was the case. <laughs> yes. Here's one. Uh, someone texted in. I was told that if I swallowed my gum, it would stay in my stomach for seven years. Yes. Oh, I remember yeah. that one. That terrified me. Yeah. yeah. It still terrifies me. I don't swallow gum because of that. I don't yeah. know how long it actually stays there. My brother told me if you swallow gum, you can poop bubbles. <laughs> what? what? So I kept trying. <laughs> so your brother so found trying. out, and then he got in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Which in turn, then he laid it down on me. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, why'd you say something? Why did I say what you no. told me? Uh, I don't know uh, because you told me this. That's awesome. Not only I learned snitches get stitches. Oh, is that it's what it is? true. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah. That's when you learn. It's like okay. Whenever my brother says, apparently, I just won't tell anybody, even if it sounds cool. And to confirm or deny, it does not work. Oh, cool. <laughs> I was going to try, try later. Yeah. 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 Wouldn't I mean, that be least, awesome? No. At least not with rig leads. Uh, maybe some. Uh, maybe bubble oh, delicious. Yeah, that would yeah. be good. Or the yeah. big chew. Double big, bubble. Oh yeah, big league chew. Yeah, big league chew. Hundred percent no. works. Hundred percent of the time. <laughs> you know who I'd like Allegedly. to see try. Is that girl on the internet that does everything with her backside? Remember that girl that she did her baby announcement? I'd like to see her try. I don't want to see anybody try, BJ. It involves pooping. No, no. Well, blowing bubbles. <laughs> well, yeah. But that was part of the whole thing was that if, if you chew gum, you poop bubbles. Well, yeah, but I mean, it's going to be pink and awesome, right? Isn't it going to be like, you know, a big double bubble? No? You know what? You click on those thumbnails all you want, <laughs> all right. BJ. I prefer not to. All right. 
We look. found Steve's hard limit. Look, no, dude, I, yeah, of course. Wait, you're man. not going to watch a video of somebody's blowing bubbles with bubble gum on the other side? You're not going to at least give that a shot? Not if other stuff has to come out in order for it to oh, happen. Oh, well, I, yeah, I don't want to see that. I only want to well, see that was the. That's part bubble. of the plan. Well, oh, I didn't know that was part of your plan. What part of poop bubbles do you not understand? <laughs> the poop part? I thought that it would be you blow bubbles. You know? You'd say if you fart, bubbles come out. Well, I would hope that's what it would be this first. Is a great segment for BJ because he literally believes everything we tell him. Yes, my brother was lying to me, first of all. I still believe that girl on the internet. If anybody can do it, she can. All right, you watch those videos. Have a direct message her. I'm sure she'll do it for, for a you. price. If there's a video out there where she is actually blowing bubbles, and again, that's all you're seeing is bubble gum, mm -hmm. you're watching it too. Well, yeah, if it's just bubble gum. Yeah, I'm not, I don't want to see anybody in Cleveland. I never said I wanted to see that. No, that's what you say now. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, now you, do you what do you think that's what I'm all about? All right. Yes. Okay, fine. 100%. Good. Let me know if you have any tables, any coffee tables you're selling. I, I'm not. On oh. Check Marketplace on Facebook. Okay, thanks. Buddy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this person said when I was a kid, I believed that cow's milk was called moo juice because that's what my parents called it. Oh. Well, at least that's close to what it is. Moo juice? I mean, it's a great name for yeah, it. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah. I mean, no oh. one's got to swallow bubble gum for no to have moo juice. That's a good point. <laughs> that's a solid. I mean, that's a good point. Not solid. Hey, as you know, all day today on The Rock, it's Kicks for Kids Day. Oh, you didn't know that. Well, as you know, we've been raising money for Mary's Place so that kids can get new sneakers, new shoes, you know, for, before it starts getting cold and rainy. And all the money we raise does go to all the kids here in the Puget Sound. And you can go to KISW.com if you want to make a donation. Uh, and how about this? The firefighters want to help out today. And we're going to be chatting with the president of the Washington State Council of Firefighters, Dennis Lawson. We'll be doing that at 747 right here on The Rock. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. How much does bankruptcy cost? Usually with my office, we, we do a flat fee that includes all your court costs, filing fees, credit counseling, credit reports, and one cost in Chapter 13 cases. That usually starts at about $900 uh, with Chapter 7 cases. So total costs, including all your court costs, attorney fees, is usually about $1,500. We offer payment plans on Chapter 7s. So you can start a file with my office for as little as $200. You can send your creditor calls to us. We'll take your creditor calls while you get gather up your information and, and pay, make payments on the rest of the fees. With Chapter 13 cases, uh, we can make payment arrangements in most cases as well and get your case filed even sooner in a Chapter 13 case because of the reorganization aspect to it. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. Thanks for listening. You can tell when your car battery's dying. But with your water heater, you'll never know until it starts leaking. Before you buy another tank, consider a Navian tankless water heater. No storage tank to heat or leak. Lower energy bills and endless hot water for spa-like comfort. All backed by Navian's strong warranty. If your water heater is over 8 years old, it's time to check out Navian at tanklessmadesimple.com. Count on Navian.